Where was your favorite fast food born? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We're about to test our knowledge of which state's iconic fast food chain started in, but first, this portion of today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's most popular meal kit. It is fall, y'all, and it's also the perfect time to start a fresh routine with HelloFresh. HelloFresh handles all the meal planning and shopping to deliver everything you need to cook up a tasty meal right at your home. They do the hard part, and you get to take all the credit. Now, you know, fall is always a busy time for me and my family. I know. Between going back to school, frolicking in the leaves, sipping a little cider. And if you're anything like us, you'll find that gaining back some time you would have spent in the kitchen can be a lifesaver. How much time do you spend frolicking in the leaves? Well, a substantial amount of time. Okay, with HelloFresh's quick and easy and 15 minute meals, you can get a tasty meal on the table in less time than it takes to get takeout or delivery. Plus, HelloFresh is more than just dinners. You can also stock your fridge with easy breakfasts, quick lunches, and fresh snacks. Oh, and rest assured that none of the time you'll save comes with any sacrifice on taste. With 40 weekly recipes to choose from, no, there's no shortage of delicious options like this creamy garlic spinach ricotta ravioli. Oh, mm, mm. oh, I want this one. Yeah, it's creamy, it's garlicky, it's spinachy, it's ricotta-y, and it's ravioli-y. Mm -hmm. It's good. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code 50GMM at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. Once again, that's HelloFresh.com and use code 50GMM at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. And thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now, fast food, it had to come from somewhere. It had to be born somewhere. Uh -huh. Let's try to figure out where it was born. It's time for Hut Hut Bite Fast Food Birthplace Edition. Welcome back to the booty, 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 booty hiking everywhere stadium, home to the mythical rings. Man, look at those rings. Stevie, what's new? So we're doing things a little bit differently this time around. Instead of trying famous dishes from sports stadiums, you're going to be eating from famous fast food establishments. Good. You'll be presented with a meal from a variety of iconic restaurants, and you'll each have three chances to hike a football to the state you think it was founded in. Yeah. Once your hike is caught, you're locked into that guess. If you guess correctly, it's worth six points. If you fail to connect with the correct state, there's still a chance to walk away with three points by correctly answering a trivia question about that state. And in every round, one of the incorrect states will be a designated penalty box, meaning uh. if you hike your ball to that state, you'll incur a three-point penalty. The location of the penalty box will change every round. The winner gets to make the loser shout something real stupid every time this sound plays in Good Mythical More. Okay, I've heard that sound Say before. Say something, something stupid. stupid! Now, penalty box, that's hockey. Uh, hiking... It's football. I, this is football. What's that got to do with fast food? And Nothing. I believe this sound is baseball now. Yep, and that's a baseball sound. Yeah. We're mixing sports metaphors. Well, you know what each of these sports does have? A referee, just like KG the referee, who's going to do the coin flip to see who goes first. Called an umpire in baseball. Okay. Correct. Called an officiant in uh, weddings. Yep, right. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Um, Link, since you lost last time, you get to call the toss. We have heads. Heads. And we have tails. Tails. Okay, which one? You know which one you're going to call? No. Yeah. Tails. It's, it's heads. heads. So Rhett will go second. Who cares? Okay. Before we get started, let's see who we got on the field today. What's up? I'm Colorado. Uh, and uh, in 1858, U.S. settlers came to Cherry Creek when they discovered gold, which is present-day Denver. Uh... And right. then it became a state. Okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> Pick up the pace, Colorado. Hello, I'm Muffy. I'm from Connecticut. And did you know that Silly String is banned in Southington, Connecticut? Because it messes up your paint. Yes, yes. The, the houses needed to be painted over and over again. I just, I couldn't afford any more servants. Wow. Oh. She's very high society. Mm. Yes, she is. Howdy, y'all. I'm for a man named Pop Johnson. I once wrestled three gators in only cast iron skillet. <laughs> Did you win? Oh, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> People are like, wow, you understood him. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. We I understood grew up close every, enough to Florida. Every word. <laughs> <laughs> Illinois, let's hear it. Okay. okay. All right. It looks like Michael Myers uh, usually doesn't say anything. Michigan. 
Hello, I'm from Michigan. I'm a proud auto worker and a union man. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to offer a brief personal update as to what's been going on with me. We wouldn't mind at all. Well, all right then. As you might remember, in the past, I have professed to hate the Transformers because my wife ran away with one of those robots in disguise while they were filming a movie in the beautiful state of Michigan. Well, things have changed. After seeing the episode, my wife slid into my DMs and let me know that she was sorry and that she wanted me to join her and her new lover, Sideswipe, in a three-being relationship. And let me tell you, that alien from another world disguised as a car made love to me like no flesh human ever uh, could. Okay. All right. And so now... I love those Transformers. <laughs> Tennessee. Hey, y'all. I'm from Tennessee. Did you know that the Piggly, Piggly Wiggly opened here in 1916? 1916? Uh, uh, I, I, I think Tennessee's also a, mu a musician of sorts. Aspiring. Okay. Okay. Georgia. Ha! I'm Georgia, and our state motto is wisdom, justice, and moderation. But I don't know nothing about moderation, but I got sweet tea! <laughs> Sweet tea. <laughs> Washington. Hey, I'm Washington, uh, home of Sydney Sweeney, as I did, you know, as I said last time, and apparently people found that creepy. So uh, it's also the headquarters of Amazon, the greatest company in the world. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I love them, and I love the way they use drones to get us packages. <laughs> No. Not a sponsor. Very enthusiastic. Okay, we are kicking things off with Burger King. Yeah. And uh, What's of in course, here? you have the iconic Whopper. That Without cheese. The reveal was not great uh, on that one, I gotta say. What but, do you mean? Well, I just, when I said the iconic Whopper and it looked like that, it just was oh, kind yeah. of, yeah. It's okay. Maybe it tastes good. Um, it needs cheese. <laughs> So this is not when the Whopper was invented. This is when Burger King, no. where Burger King was invented. Yeah, we all know what's going on. Yeah, I don't. All right. So and, and you go first. And I got to go first. Okay. I, I I know what's going on. Where is Burger King from? Like? I got you. I got you. When did mm. Burger King start? Mm. I don't know, man. Um, up there in Illinois, I feel like you were like really early on in the burger game, right? What, whose blood is that on your knife? Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I'm going to go with my gut on this one. I just feel like it's Illinois. And thanks for the Illinois facts. Are you going to catch it with the knife? Oh, yeah. He's probably going to stab it. Oh, nope. That was not well, Michael's fault. He's uh, mad Don't now. get mad. You, you've upset him. Don't get mad. Come on now. Jason, I mean Michael. He's so, oh, now you, now you called him Jason. Here we go. You ready? Yes! See, I left nothing to chance. I threw it right through his hole. I mean, Burger King sings like that, like, Illinois-type thing. Well, you, you, you've, you've, you've made Michael mad. You, you've made him very, very mad. Isn't he already I, I'm mad? I'm tempted to, to, to go there again for reasons I will explain in a second. But oh, let's, yeah? let's consider some other possibilities. Sure. They love burgers in Florida. It will four men suspect you using a private plane to draw a giant radar penis. Um, I think he said giant radar penis. Yes, sir. I have some experience with giant radar penises. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, we, we, we've heard. The reason that Illinois was what I was thinking, and I was hoping that you wouldn't go there, Link, is because really? I think there was like a burger concentration in Chicago, and I think that uh, Burger King was taking all their hints from... from uh, McDonald's, and so that's why I'm just gonna say Illinois. Oh gosh, see, it's he, tough. It's tough with that knife. He's not putting his knife down. So you got to get in the hole. You do. There we go. Oh wow, what a bobble! Man, out of all He's so the upset. answers, you had to copy mine. Well, I was gonna do it, and I was hoping you wouldn't. Okay, Stevie, are we right? Burger King was first established in 1953 as Insta Burger King in Florida. Oh, dang! We got so the Burger close. King and the Tiger King. <laughs> <laughs> so you both have a chance now 
to win three points because you both lost the six there. And you have to get this trivia question about Florida correct. On average, how many people move to Florida every day? Every day? Every day. Your options are A, (laughs) 1,218, B, 574, (laughs) C, 2,000, or D, 908. And somehow I'm going to give you a 3, 2, 1. You've now okay. memorized all of the letters and numbers that well, I, I gave guess. you. I didn't think you were going to have this multiple choice. I had a guess, so I'm just going to go with what was closest to my guess. Okay. 3, 2, 1. A. a. It's A. Yeah. I was going to say 1,400, <laughs> so when we, you, but you didn't get, give me an opportunity. I mean, to. we both, out of four random guesses, we bo- we're both saying the exact same thing. Yeah, so we both get you need three, three points. points. Next, we have some chips, guac, salsa, and barbacoa tacos from the one and only Chipotle. Oh, barbacoa. I've never ordered tacos from Chipotle. What the? Until today. And they're hard? Well. They got hard tacos at you Chipotle? Ca- you call that hard? Well, I didn't know if it if, if it just softened because it has been a while. <laughs> it doesn't take long. I think it's usually hard. It doesn't take long to soften up. Hmm. Chipotle. Where could that be from? I'm still going first. You're still up. <laughs> Florida, buddy, I love talking to you, but you're off the board now. Yeah, well, I got to take a run out of Bath Pro Shop anyway, so uh, I'll see y'all later. Oh, no, don't leave. Just stay here. I couldn't get out if I wanted to. (laughs) (laughs) That's a pretty good accent. Um, Just so you know, I'm not copying you. Chipotle. I'm going to, I'm licking my answer on the back of this chip so you'll know that I didn't cheat. What's the most southwest state we got up here? Well, Georgia. Just so you know. Georgia, you're south. Hey, uh, did you know that Georgia's nickname is the Peach State? And I got a bunch of peaches in this ST! Oh. Go Bulldogs! Uh, but you're not west. You're just south. I trust you! <laughs> I mean, there's not really any great southwest option. But Chipotle is like a values-based company with Aztec decorations. Hmm. Just somebody with a lot of ideas. A lot of time on their hand, a lot of space. Colorado, perhaps. Oof, so anyway, I think I got altitude sickness. <laughs> oh, you're not used to it? It's a uh, physical distress from uh, a body not being able to handle uh, low oxygen pressure. Most cases are minor, but some may be life-threatening. <laughs> that sounded like he was just acting like he was having altitude sickness so he could explain it. <laughs> I'm feeling like Chipotle gives Colorado vibes. More than anything else up here. Get ready. We're okay, sir. Come on now. Don't be so sluggish, okay? Help All me right. out. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, I overshot it. I overshot yeah, it. Yeah, it wasn't even close. Not even close. Right, come on. Come on. I'm ready again. That's why we have multiple chances. Good there we go. There All we right. go. Right down the middle. Nice work. I'm not gonna copy you, Link. What'd you lick on your chip, homie? I well let me let me let me have a little fun first. <laughs> have a little fun. Uh, <laughs> let me have a little fun. You know we haven't checked in with Connecticut. It, Connecticut and tacos that doesn't seem like it goes together. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean I myself have never had a taco, uh, but I do know that helicopters were invented in Connecticut in 1939. It's from my granddaddy uh, Cornelius. He was a very rich man. <laughs> I think it's Washington. You think it's Washington I, I State? Licked, I licked a W on the back of my chip. The reason I'm choosing Washington is because Chipotle was an innovation in fast food with the like choose your own adventure situation. Like it was like fresh ingredients, but it's fast, but it, it, it like started a revolution in the I don't know what you call that. I don't know what you call that type of restaurant. And so I think that feels like something that happened in like a center of innovation, like yeah. Washington, like yeah. Seattle. Okay. He doesn't agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that ball. But he doesn't get enthusiastic about anything, so. Yeah, just. See, he's still holding his phone. Oh, that was too easy. Too easy. Too easy. (sighs) Must mean it was wrong. The founder and CEO of Chipotle opened the first Chipotle in an abandoned ice cream store in 1993 in 
Denver, Colorado. Oh, dang yes. it. We both had good guesses, but I had the right answer. Yeah. Link, that means you won six points, but Rhett, you still have a chance to get three if you answer this question about Colorado correctly. Okay. In Colorado Springs, Colorado, two men set the record for the longest session of what sport? Whoa, okay. Thank you for <laughs> clarifying it was a sport. <laughs> a, poker. B, pickleball. C, billiards. Or D, badminton. Longest session? Longest sesh. I'm going to go with the shuttlecock badminton. It was C, Billiards. I love that. That means they both sucked at billiards. <laughs> Up next, we have the ultimate pepperoni pizza from the world famous Domino's. World famous? Hmm. That's a Domino. That's not a great looking pizza. Hmm. Just let's just close it back. Tastes man. pretty good. Mm hmm. I'm still going first because I'm winning. Okay. Hmm. No. Hmm. Tastes better than it looks. Domino's. Who, who would start a pizza chain? Who would do that? With a Domino as the logo. Michigan. Is there a minivan transformer? Lots of ways to get in a minivan. Well, you're right about that. I have not met all the transformers, but I sure as heck have met Sideswipe. <laughs> See, it, I mean, it seems like it could be a Connecticut thing. Like, I mean, you like really competitive highfalutin games like backgammon um, and dominoes. Yes, uh, I've, I've never played dominoes, but I, I more spend my time at the derby. Mm. Um, oh. But our, our state animal is the sperm whale, if that does anything for you. Uh, doesn't do anything for me at all. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with Connecticut. Come on now, try. Trying, darling. His hands haven't been used in a very long time. What about the elbows? Extend them. Oh, yes. There yes. you go. Yes. Here we go. Let me try again. There you oh. go. You got it. She got a little sauce in her catch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, Georgia, you're always so happy. Yeah. Did you know that Coca Cola was invented in Georgia? I did. And there's 50 Oh, wow, she was sitting on that one. Yeah! 50% <laughs> Coke. Yeah! I feel like uh, it might be Illinois. Uh, not just because I want to bring, you know, Michael back into the game, but it just feels like, again, I think that Chicago is a, it's a pizza town. Now, obviously, this isn't Chicago-style pizza, but they were like, we can't be making this deep dish stuff and getting it out the door real fast, putting it in cars and stuff, so we got to do something a little bit flatter. And so... And so, Illinois. Illinois. Oh, wow! Look at whoa, that! Whoa, whoa. <sighs> I think that counts. I think it counts. It was clearly a catch according yeah. to the rules of football. Well, I hate to be the one to say this, but I am the one to say this. Link, you hiked your ball right into the penalty box. Oh! oh what a stupid aspect of this game! Wow! It's never happened like before. Like, you can never know where it is until you hit it. And yeah. there, I did. And he lost three points. I'm ah. so sorry. Yeah, it's bad. Good gosh. But did you know that just eight months after the grand opening of the first Domino's, one of the founding partners decided to trade his stake in the company for a used Volkswagen Beetle? <laughs> and the first ever Domino's was in Michigan. Dang. I've also used a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I get a trivia, please? I've been told you don't get a trivia. Thank you. Oh, penalty, um, double penalty. Ouch. But Rhett, answer this correctly about Michigan, and you get three points. I need them. Michigan has the world's largest store of a specific theme. What is that theme? Michigan. <laughs> a, <It's> Halloween. A <laughs> B, Christmas. C, auto parts. Huh. Or D, sports. 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 <laughs> sports, yeah, sports themed. I don't know. Uh, they love their Christmas up in Michigan. I know that. B. That's what I would have guessed. You are correct. Yes! Uh, the store has more than five acres 
of shopping space. It's called Bronner's Christmas Christmas Wonderland. Hmm, Okay. The tie is scored, and we're finishing up strong with a Cinnabon. 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 Look at that, a nice little... And they, they cut the whole thing in half so you can just so we can just grab the middle and eat it. I like to save the middle for last. Hmm. That's good. I feel like you should go first now because I hit the penalty box. We're tied now. Any rationale you give can help me. Uh, okay. <laughs> I feel like I got forced into that. But what if you copy me? That's my prerogative. But okay. that, that would only tie us. Wow. Cinnabon. A place where they like dessert, with a little frosting on it. I feel like it could be anywhere, you know? It really could be anywhere. A, a place that's a little bit cool, both in vibe and also in temperature, like Washington. Hey, Jeff Bezos hates PowerPoint. <laughs> he insists on printing out six pages before a meeting and having people read them. Michael Myers is about to touch you with his knife. (laughs) Is that what he's been doing this whole time? Coming at you, Washington! Yeah, yeah, put it in my mouth. That was too high. It came right back to me. My mouth's right here. Too low. All right, you have one more chance. You have one more chance. Now I'm nervous. (laughs) Now I'm nervous. I can do it, just calmly. Oh, God. Okay, it does not count, dude. I'm sorry. Thank God I was worried. Sorry. What about all the times that's happened to you and we've edited it out? <laughs> like literally every single time it's ever happened to you and we've edited it out and just continued with the game. Prove it though. Okay. <laughs> Can we roll all those? Fine, fine, I'll give you one more, but you gotta be further back. You gotta be over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was on you, dog. That was on you. That was on you, man. All right, from yeah. there, two more tries. Yeah, just do, keep doing it. I just want to catch it. It's only so many hours in the day, man. People got to... There we go. Okay. 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 Wow. That was pretty magnanimous wow. on my part. I don't know what yeah. he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, dang, it really could be anywhere. Mm. Um, Illinois, Georgia, Tennessee, Washington. I think Illinois needs a claim to fame, but I also want it to be Georgia. Like, I could see this being Georgia. It's a very decadent, southern, sweet thing. More southern than Tennessee. Yeah, did you know that we are the most populous state number eight? I mean, failed this Stanley Cup eight times! <laughs> the most popular state number eight. <laughs> so. I didn't know that, because I don't know what that means. I think it means the eighth most popular state. Our eighth most populous state. Oh, that was high. Oh, yeah. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Do it again. Colorado's do it again. hat came off. <laughs> okay, here we go. Nice snag, it, Georgia. All right. That sweet tea drew me in to the sweetness. I have I have previously stated this and I apologize, but Link, you you really done it. Oh. You done it again. You uh. you got right in the penalty box again. What? I, uh, sorry, man. I'm I'm sorry, mm. and, and we can't cu- we can't cut it out, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't understand. We can't cut it. I hate this penalty box. It's just so uh. dumb and stupid. Yeah, it's weird. And and somehow directed only at me ever. <laughs> Okay, when the first Cinnabon opened its doors in 1985, the only thing on the menu was the classic cinnamon roll, and it was in the grand old state of Washington, which means, Rhett, you take this one, uh, and you get to make up something really stupid for Link to shout every time you hear this sound in Good Mythical More. Yeah, yeah, we remember. It might be Bezos. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. All right, y'all say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Des, and this is Remy, the Australian Shepherd, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Good boy. What'd you get? Oh, we can't do that to me. It's raining. No, it's too much. I can't take the cuteness. He was like bored. He's like, oh, I know what's going to happen. Give me the food. He is so smart and beautiful. Click the top link to watch us learn the craziest facts about your favorite animated shows and movies in Good Mythical More. And if I were to win, we're going to...
Crack open a cold one with the new Mythical Bottle Opener, available now at mythical.com.